All right. Here I'm working on a 2012 Volkswagen Passat. Uh, it's triggered uh, theft mode. It'll start up and shut off, and it won't start again. You turn the key off, start it up, shuts off, and it won't start again. It just cranks over. Uh, so maybe somebody else has come across this, or maybe this will help somebody. But as of right now, there is no there's an open circuit between 2 and 10 here at the obd connector and where it goes to on the gateway module down here gateway module is located right here it connects up there to that bracket right there snaps in uh, uh, 2 and 10 here go to these back two wires here in the back of this connector right here which are uh, 2 goes to 20 and 10 goes to 10 so when you shut everything off disconnect the battery and you check resistance from 2 to 20 open loop check from 10 to 10 open loop so there is no connection between the OBD port and the gateway module now when it's in this way if you scan it the only thing you get that will talk for whatever reason is the transmission control module that is it and it has four codes and they're all communication codes nothing else on the car will talk um, uh, the car starts up and shuts off and that's it and when you look on the data bus here there will be no uh, power here on uh, which is Connected to 6 and 14. Also, 2 and 10 never show any activity either. So, blue and red are 2 and 10. And 6 and 14 is yellow and green. And right now, if I turn the key on, when everything is supposed to wake up, there's a the key. So, key on. You'll end up with these errors showing up on the cluster just like this and then when you scan it all you get is a transmission control module with four codes and as you can see there's no activity on either of those can lines and even if i do attempt to scan it you may see some activity you can see here, this is from my previous scan, after I made it work, and I'll show you in a second. But as of right now, the way it's acting now, because I disconnected the battery, and the uh, CAN bus went to sleep, it will not wake back up. So here we go. And uh, if you look at this right away, when it's not talking, there will be a whole list of stuff that will go through, not this short list. None of it will talk. As you can see, it's attempting to talk, but nothing is happening. CAN bus is still asleep. And even when you see activity on here, it's the scanner trying to communicate, not the car waking up. So sometimes you'll see communication, and then it will go back to zero. There's also uh, 7 and 15. Those are... See right there, can communication. Scanner's trying to talk. However, it's stuck on zero. It doesn't wake up. Not at all. You see, there we go. We got the transmission control module. There's trying to talk to ABS. Communication's coming on. Nothing's happening. It's trying to talk to all the other modules. This is the scanner trying to communicate. But, as you can see, the network is not waking up. Well, now the transmission only has three codes. As you can see, even though it's on this same network line here, there's no communication to anything besides the transmission. And even though this pops up and tries to scan, the scanner is trying to talk to the car. The car does not wake up. So finally I did. I went down here, to, got to the gateway module. On a Jetta, this would be really easy. 
on the saw is a pain in the butt because the panel right here connects into here so you have to get remove the console or just get it loose like I did and move it back so you can get that panel off and you have to do all this other crap to it and then you can get to the gateway module up there so now I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to jumper 2 and 10 from here to the gateway module and when I do that you will see that the CAN bus will wake up the car will start and run and I can talk to all of a sudden I'll be able to talk to all the modules in the car and as you can see here nothing talks no gateway nothing which 6 and 14 go around this gateway but 2 and 10 go from the OBD to a splice to the gateway module and the splice is before the gateway module so it spliced into the rest of the network in the car but it still won't talk and then it goes to the gateway module as you can see look here is the scanner it's not doing anything but it's trying to find information on the car and the car will not wake up and this goes away so go back down to zero not two and a half no communication so now I'm going to go down here, I'm going to connect 2 and 10, and you're going to see all that come alive, and then it'll start to talk. Alright, now as you can see, I got it jumpered, 2 and 10 to where they're supposed to go there. So now it's jumpered, and we're going to see if I can stop this communication here. I'm just going to pull the connector out. Wait. So as you can see, I pulled the connector out for the scanner just so it would quiet down. Everything is still zero. Nothing has woken up. Now I'm going to take the key. We're going to Turn it on. We got all this code here. Still, not, I must not have a good connection. Hold on. Okay, I had a bad connection. So I got it connected now. Same thing. Two and ten. Two and ten. Now look. Two forty-four. Two and a half volts. Some communication here and there. Look, it was already working while I was doing it, so I'm going to back out. See, I already got communication. Look at that. And it reset. Look, now all of a sudden, you can talk to everything in the car. And bus works and everything. And now, as long as it stays alive, I don't even need this connection. It'll stay fine. Look, two and ten. Just disconnect all of it. Nothing's connected anymore. It's still talking. It doesn't lose communication. All right, got the lab scope hooked back up to two and ten, six and fourteen. Nothing happening on two and ten. 6 and 14 is relatively quiet, and you can see I just talked to everything in the car, except for the telematics module, which it may or may not have, which I think it has, because it gives me codes for not talking to it, but maybe there's a problem with that. But somewhere in this dash harness, where you can see, this goes into the main harness and then here the gateway module goes into the main harness somewhere in this dash harness is a splice and i'm assuming there's a splice for each wire and there's no connection there so are both splices bad two separate splices for two different wires this is what i'm running to now and this like i said without any of this stuff connected here Pulled it all out. 
not connected. As long as that cam stays awake, you won't get the errors and the car will stay running. You can see here. Cam line is still active but silent. And it drops it here and it sits here. So assuming if I let the car uh, sit long enough and these go back to zero and it goes to sleep, just like when I disconnected the battery earlier, the car will again not work. But as, as long as that stays up and it doesn't go to sleep, it'll stay running and it'll work and I'll talk to everything. So either one or two things will happen. The CAN bus will go to sleep and it won't work again, or the CAN bus will never go to sleep and the battery will die. But that splices, which Identifix called A178 and 179, somewhere behind this dash, don't make it from the OBD port to the gateway module, and that's my problem. But I have no idea why this wakes it up and keeps it working, even though there's no connection. But if you know where those splices are, let me know. Or if you run across this problem, I hope this helps you at least get the car running or know where to go. And I hope this helps. And maybe somebody out there can help me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to remove the dash and find the splices and see if they're broken and why they don't make it there. So once I fix that issue, as you can see when I jumpered it, everything works fine. So, hope this helps and hope maybe somebody can help me. Thanks for watching.